The iMusic app is burning up the charts. iPhone users love it, but the one question we're asked most frequently is, where's the iPad version? Man, a software developer's work is never done. We could create and market a whole new application specifically for the iPad, but would it really be different enough to justify going that route? After further consideration, we decided we'll make this a universal app. In this lesson, we'll begin that process. We won't have time to cover converting every feature. It's taken us 12 chapters to get where we are, but I'll show you what you need to know to confidently build and manage a universal iOS app. So let's switch to the iPad simulator, and we'll run the app. Technically, our app works, but clearly a user is not going to be very excited about using it like this. How about if we switch it to 2x mode? Well, that's probably even worse. Clearly, we've got a bit of work cut out for us. I'll stop the app, and currently the device's drop down is set to iPhone. Well, let's switch this over to Universal. By switching this to Universal, this added some new configuration to our project. And specifically, it added a new section called iPad Deployment Info. Well, let's run it again and see how that looks. Well, at least we're full screen. Let's take a look at the app. So I'll run a search, enter in Alice, Alice in Chains, Greatest Hits, and ooh, that's not looking too good. Let's try the About screen. Not quite right either. Well, at least we're full screen, but we can see we've got a number of problems to resolve. When we switched to a universal app, the required project configuration was made, but one of the things we can see is that both the iPad and the iPhone configurations are both pointing to the main storyboard. It's nice that it's smart enough to know to properly scale things up to full screen on both devices, but as our iPhone and iPad presentations are going to be significantly different, we'll really need to manage two independent storyboards. Let me first rename our existing storyboard, and I'll call this main storyboard underscore iPhone. And I'll change the iPhone configuration to point to that. Let's highlight iMusic, and I'll type Command N, switch to user interface, select storyboard, and for the device family, select iPad. Click Next. And we'll call this one main storyboard underscore iPad. Make sure the iMusic target is checked. Click Create. And let's scroll down and make sure our iPad deployment info is pointing at the correct storyboard file. All right, so we now have a blank slate that we can begin the process of coming up with a new UI for our iPad app. And in the next lesson, we'll start building out that new UI.